While the Batman Part 2 isn't releasing for a while yet, but there is already word of a big change from the first DC movie. The Batman Part 2 will not be part of the new, rebooted series when it comes out in July 2025. Instead it will be the latest DC Elseworlds release, like Todd Phillips' Joker. This means that Reeves doesn't have to follow the rules of James Gunn's new shared world when making movies. In November 2022, The Batman was written by Reeves and Peter Craig. Both of them are back to work on the sequel. This time their names will be joined in the titles by the name of a writer whose work had not been recognized before. This is a good sign for the sequel when it finally comes out in 2026. Matson Tomlin is a writer and director. His first work in Hollywood was writing for the movie Project Power in 2020. Afterward, he wrote, produced, and directed Mother Android in 2021. Later, he used his skills to help make the Batman better by editing the story. In an interview, Tomlin said he was sorry that his he said, it was a painful thing to have happened. I put a lot of time and a lot of heart in. I had a really, really great time working with Matt on that first movie. And when I got brought in, it was kind of said, look, we're so late in this process that you're probably not going to get credit. I got paid, try not to take that too personally since I'm a worker. Matson Tomlin will be recognized as a writer for the sequel since he joined the project from the beginning. This is a big achievement for Tomlin and gives the Elseworlds saga a valuable name. Not being included in the Batman series at first is still a mystery, even though the fact that he is now credited with being involved is a good thing. It may not seem fair at first, but Tomlin not being listed as a writer on the Batman is actually just how things work. The Writers Guild of America followed a strict process when giving out writing credits for a movie in which it was involved. This was done in response to a very important strike in the summer of 2023. With this method, a screenplay by credit is only given to people who added at least 33% to the final script, and it can only go to three people or two teams of writers. Because Tomlin joined the Batman's writing team late, the WGA didn't think his work was important enough to give him an official credit for the movie. It also makes sense of what Reeves said in their meeting. In spite of this, Tomlin gave the project his all. He said in an interview that he was afraid of becoming a footnote about a guy who once worked on a Batman movie despite his hard work. Thankfully, this won't happen, which is great. Tolkien is one of the three writers who worked on the first Batman movie. They will all be back for the Batman Part 2. This time he will be given credit for his work. This consistency is good news because the Batman was a big hit with both audiences and critics. It made $766 million worldwide and has an 85% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the same score as Batman Begins, which came out in 2005. It remains to be seen if Reeves' The Batman series will do as well with critics as the first movie and have an even better second movie, but this is a good start. Also, Tomlin's writing skills are hard to ignore. Tomlin's most recent work, the cartoon series Terminator Zero, has also been praised by many critics. Batman the Imposter is one of his most recent critically acclaimed projects. The good news is that Tomlin and Reeves clearly get along well as co-workers. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.